Hello everyone, Mad Gamer here, and welcome back to another Forza 5 video. Um, today we are going to be testing two old Formula 1 cars, the McLaren M23 and the Ferrari 312 2T. Uh, it's going to be a comparison between the two, and first off we have the McLaren, as you see. Um, very nice car, lovely to look at. Like uh, This is one of my favourite old 70s F1 cars. But it does have a few problems. As you can see there, big lockups and a lot of twitchiness. It has a problem with being very twitchy under brake, heavy braking at least. Uh, not too, it's not too bad under light braking, just heavy braking it struggles at. Um, it's running a V8 Cosworth, I believe, with 460 horsepower. So, obviously, the car that only weighs 1,200 pounds on here, it's, I think it's one, no, 1,400, I think. So, it's going to, it's going to shift. It's, it's going to shift. Um, it does like to understeer. As you could probably see, almost hit it off the track there. Um, yeah, it's, it's the problem. Both of the cars have the issue. It's a bit of understeer just because they are old. They didn't have the technology back then. But, yeah, this first corner is just a downshift and turning. As you can see, the back end is very twitchy, very uneven, like very uneasy, just don't know what he's going to do. But now, coming into the corner again, you see very twitchy under brakes. Very understeer as well, look, just went to the curb there, wasn't even going particularly fast. Um, hit about, I think it was about 150 mile an hour, it hit down this straight. From what I remember, yeah, about 150, yeah, 150 just before hitting the brakes. This corner, it was a third or second gear, whatever one you wanted. I'd, Seem to choose between the two. See, there's a much better line through there. It's a lot more forgiving. When you do make a mistake and it does go loose on you, you can save it. It's a, it's quite a forgiving car. Both of them are forgiving. But this McLaren's just slightly more, just for the fact it has a little bit less horsepower. So you can you can control it a bit better. Yeah, look, downshift and turn in. See, very slidey. That's probably... One of the major things you'll notice driving this car is that it's very twitchy. I don't know what makes it twitchy. It might just be because it's an old car, but yeah, like the no these the noise of these are just insane. I love them. Like if I just quiet. Oh, could you imagine being there watching that? That's mate. That's oh, it's just an epic noise. Oh god, I, just, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but yeah, just coming around the last corner, I see more understeer. A bit more, yeah, a lot more understeer than you'd like to have. It'd probably just be a bit of tweaking to suspension and stuff, and it might sort itself out. And now we move on to the Ferrari. And now this was the famous car driven by Nicky Lauda. The other one, the McLaren, was driven by James Hunt in 1970. Uh, what was it? 19. I should know this. I think it's 1976. But yeah, this runs a V12 with 500 horsepower. And weighs, I think it's just a little bit more. But as you can, as you can see, it's a little bit... The rear end does like to come out more, but it, you can control it. As I said with the McLaren, they're both very forgiving cars. It's because the suspension is quite a soft sort of setup, so it's very forgiving. Um, you'd think it being having a full 50 roughly so more horsepower and a four more cylinders... I think it's four more cylinders. I think these did that one did run V8. I think I don't know, but um, yeah, base has got 50 more horsepower to throw, but the speeds were no much were exactly the same down the straight 150 mile an hour, exactly the same. But so, but it's it's the corners where this throw is not much better. If you look through here, just watch it quick. Turn in, nothing, no drama whatsoever. At high speed, the down it has a lot more better control through the corners. The slow, the slow speed corners is it's about the same as the as the McLaren is, just because it's an old car, you know, understeer. Like it will, they will probably all natural, naturally suffer from it. But uh, yeah, down this straight, they were hitting exactly the same speed. Oh, that noise V12. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a twitch there under braking. But you got to expect that from an older car. It's so much more planted through these corners. Like look. I thought it'd just drift out wide. I was so I was so unpredicted, unpredicted. Look at that big oversteer sign. They can you can chuck these around and they will forgive you, but they can bite you on the arse if you hit them curves too hard. They will. But look, the noise. The, the McLaren had a longer gear ratio. If you didn't, if you could hear it, it was 
It was at the very top of the rev range at the end of the straight, but this Ferrari, the gears seem to be alright for this track. And if you can't tell what track we're at, we are the Silverstone National, I think it is. I'm coming down the back straight again now. Yeah, exactly the same speed, thinking even though this has got a V12 in it, it's a bit mad, isn't it? But, yeah, it's a lot better through the corner. like, it's a lot better through the corners, it does plant, like, look, it's ch chuck it in and it sticks to the kerbs. Well, the is just that little bit more over understeering, and you have to use the rear end to control it in. But I do say, but I do say it's a very nice car to drive. Both of them are. Like once, if you're gentle with them, they are very nice cars to drive. And now we come across the line. Now, if I had to choose between what one to have, oh god, it's a tough one. I'd have the Ferrari. Because it's it was faster around the track, faster around the track, better through the court, through big, through the fast corners, and a lot more stable under braking. But I per I prefer how the McLaren looks. The McLaren, I bet if you put these two together, more people would go towards the McLaren than they would the Ferrari. So it'd be Ferrari just for what it can do through the corners, and the McLaren just for itself, how it looks. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next episode. Ta -da!